The purpose of scaffolding stories, building communities, is to work collaboratively with students, ethnic studies faculty, and community partners to bridge the gap between ethnic studies and technology through the use of podcasting and augmented reality. The vision is to amplify stories, stories untold, left behind, and stories waiting for their moment, the stories of communities of color. The questions we asked ourselves were how can we contribute to this unfolding? How could we add to the critical thinking taking place in ethnic studies? And where could we take this? Our first response was through podcasting. Ethnic studies-based podcasts offer a space for narratives that too often go untold or unheard, and they create discussions around issues and topics that are relevant to the current moments we are living through. Secondly, we are at a watershed moment in the United States. Marginalized communities are contesting monuments that represent a broader experience of suffering and violence. Augmented reality gives us the opportunity to respond to and comment on the erasures in history through new technologies and forms of telling stories. With the pandemic not allowing us to work on campus, we have reoriented the fall semester goals to work on support and infrastructure. We began our own encounter as a collective. Our collective consists of nine highly dedicated ethnic studies based faculty and students. None of us were experts or highly trained in podcasting or augmented reality. So we trained with the intent on producing step-by-step, -step, easy to follow tutorials. We have conducted trainings for six ethnic studies courses and one campus community partner. We also created a series of tutorials on how to produce a podcast and how to produce augmented reality projects. I'm one of the ethnic studies students that has been working on trainings and tutorials for ethnic studies classes. I've learned a lot about podcasting and AR from creating this content alongside my peers, and I'm very grateful that I can share this knowledge with other ethnic studies students. Technology is really important for us to stay connected with other students and community members, especially now that we are unable to meet in person. But I think that years from now, the work that we are doing will continue to evolve and be just as important for ethnic studies students who are interested in using technology to document their stories and perspectives. As ethnic studies students, it's rare that we have the opportunity to integrate technology with our field of study. So I'm very grateful that I get to be a part of this project and learn about podcasting and AR, and that I can help train others to do the same. As an ethnic studies student, I spend a lot of time engaging with the stories of communities of color that emphasize resilience in an ongoing fight for liberation. It is extremely important to cultivate a safe space for students of color to have these conversations to develop their own voice and understanding of themselves. Through podcasts and augmented reality, I'm able to take an active part in cultivating these spaces for students just like me. At a time where we depend on our technology to sustain our connections with our community, this project allows us to expand the possibilities of communication and develop a new avenue of knowledge that will remain accessible for generations to come. Our initial goals for the year are to build a working website that houses podcast and augmented reality projects that ethnic studies courses create throughout the fall and spring semester. It is also to offer skilled assistance for community-based organizations that want to create podcasts and use augmented reality as a tool. We hope to also offer assistance to faculty, student groups, and staff on possible podcast ideas as a way of communicating to broader off-campus audiences. One of our main projects is the development of an ethnic studies archive. The archive focuses on the use and implementation of augmented reality and mixed reality technologies to see below and also to see above the clouds. It is our inverted periscope project, a project dedicated to remembering and preserving our stories. Augmented reality is the future. It lays at our fingertips information like the vast archives housed at the Ethnic Studies Library. 
Our mission is to preserve and amplify the archive in ways that make these primary sources literally jump off the page. We are excited to learn and use up and coming AR software and applications that faculty, students, and communities can use to usher in a new era of remembering the past and building the future. We see this project as a continuation of a longer struggle for ethnic studies at Cal. We continue to reflect on the sacrifices and accomplishments of the original 69 strikers, the Third World Liberation Front, and generations of students of color who insist on telling their stories. In the future, we envision a physical space, a studio, where students will be able to come together to engage with the technology and with each other. We hope to integrate more forms of technology, such as the HoloLens 2. This allows us to bridge with other mixed reality projects on campus. We hope to continue building partnerships with community members and organizations on and off campus. Community is at the core of ethnic studies, and we believe our current work with podcasting and augmented reality can bring our community closer together, especially during these times.